Describing it is really hard, but people can't really understand, which is why I usually use the Heath Robinson analogy, because there isn't really a box that people can put me into easily. It's basically enjoying playing for me, and it's finding all the old bits of treasure and then rearranging them to do different things. The things that frustrate me are also what the challenge is when I get really stuck on something and I've been working on design number 20 and it's still not working right, that's frustrating. But that's also the whole point that I love finding and making a problem for myself to solve. Ooh, I'm gonna make it a brighter place. I'm gonna make it a safer place. I'm gonna help the human on machines, I make a lot just out of general components, but if you use bits that people are familiar with, like spanners, that's often the first thing that people pick up and go, ah, oh, that spanner's been bent, how do you do that? That's... And the forces, and that's what gets people really going. A lot of my favourite components are cast anyway, which is the old process of making them. And when you're holding any spanner that's old and worn, you're thinking, how many steam engines, tractors, has this fixed? It does have an embodied history and energy with it. When you replicate it in bronze, it doesn't lose that dimension and depth. an old fishing spearhead on this corkscrew actually that I don't know where that came from. It's a proper old hunting spear. Which, I mean, when they stopped fishing with spears in Cornwall, I don't know. But it, it's beautifully made, genuine ancient thing. But the piece carries on in its most appreciated form and as a spear it wasn't, it's gone. Or the same with the old tools, they're not used as tools anymore. I want people to interact with and get the maximum enjoyment from it and you can only get the maximum enjoyment if you put effort in and you've had a physical connection with it. Yeah.